In this video, we're going to be using First Line Shave Dapper Man and the Carbon CX316L. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And today we have a luxury shave, or at least in my mind it is. We're going to be using First Line Shave. This is Dapper Man. This is a collaboration with Chicano Design, which does the artwork. And I love that label. That is just a gorgeous label. Chicano Designs does great, great uh, artwork. And this is a really nice scent. And the scent strength on this one is pretty strong. I would call it definitely far end of medium to strong on uh, scent. And the scent on this is uh, based or inspired by Beach Hut Man. The fragrance, we'll put the notes for you right there. Mint, orange, galbanum, vetiver, all sorts of stuff. Very complex scent. Very nice. I like it a lot. I'm late to the party on this one because I just now got it, but it really is a, a, a nice uh, scent. The um, cost on this, it's definitely pricey. $23 for four ounces or $5.75 on our cost chart there, which is pricey. There's no way around it. It is, however, a good quality. So I'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is the first line shape 3.0 base. The consistency on this is very, very soft. In fact, usually I use about a half of a teaspoon to three quarters. And in making the lab this morning, I had to use even more of this because it's it's almost like a cream. It is, uh, see it sticking to my finger right there. It's extremely soft. So that might elevate the cost even a little bit more uh, since you'll maybe dig more into it if you're lo loading from the tub especially, but this is one of those I just wanted to treat myself uh, to. And First Line Shave is definitely a good quality soap. So we're looking forward to using that today. The razor for today is one of my favorite razors, the Carbon CX316L, which was, uh, I think Mel and Nate from BBS Live were the two biggest advocates of this razor. And I'm gonna load our Persona 74. This is on shave number 12. Now again, for new people, Keep in mind, this is a vintage blade. It's very special. Normally, I would use a DE blade for three shaves and out. But we're going to load it up in our carbon. I love those long posts on the carbon that holds that blade in very securely. And this is just the base carbon plate, um, just the regular plate, so to speak. But it is a magnificent razor. I love using this. This is just a smooth, daily driving type razor for me. Okay, let's get into it. We're going to miss the face. Keep in mind, I'll link the products for you below that I'm using today, as always. We have our lather here in a Captain's Choice bowl, nice and hydrated. But again, I did have to use more of this product to generate the volume that I wanted, but it is a beautiful, beautiful lather in terms of good hydration in it. It's gonna be very slick. As we have been saying recently, um, the key to slickness is hydration. There's just no doubt about that. The more hydration you're able to get in your soap without it breaking down, the slicker it will be, generally speaking. And again, this one, um, this particular soap from First Line Shape is what I would call low structure, or is what other people call it, meaning it's not fluffy. And, you know, I did have to add a little more product to get the volume that I wanted. Um, but as you can see there, there's an excellent sheen on it. It takes and holds water well, but you might have to use a little bit more product, or at least I did with this one. I don't recall having had to in the past with First Line Shave, um, but today I did. I sort of had to add a little bit more because there just wasn't much volume. And if you're curious as to how I lather, I always link my lathering tutorials in the comments below. So there'll be product links as well as um, tutorials and, and other things down there. So make sure to take advantage of that. And I don't lather on camera just to save time because I make videos every day and sometimes there'll be two in a day if I do a head shave or some special video. So I don't wanna make these videos super long. And the Persona 74 in the carbon here is magic, even on shave number 12. Again, this is a vintage blade. And so this is not your normal DE blade. It's going to yield quite a bit more. It's made of tungsten steel. I don't know if that lends itself to its characteristics of staying sharp, but it's still quite sharp and smooth and cutting well. Now the carbon is not a an inexpensive razor. It is a premium offering. Sometimes they have carbons um, in their uh, sort of refurbished section. 
of the of the site so stay tuned for that because you can get it cheaper um and mine only had like a little pinhole in the base plate and i believe this particular plate was formerly owned by lord shady who's a good friend and uh you know he paid retail so he didn't want one with a little pinhole but for me getting it second hand for a great price or you know was was no problem or actually i got it on the sort of uh, I can't remember what the what the uh, the sex the section of the website is called on uh, carbon, but essentially, if there's a little flaw or something, he discounts those razors. So take a look, and you might be able to get a carbon for uh, you know a better price. I think they start at well over two hundred, might be even close to two fifty. So it's a very expensive um, razor, but honestly. Um, it's one of the best razors on the market as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a very smooth shaver, easy going. And, uh, I have no buyer's remorse on this one at all. Really terrific razor. And by the way, speaking of Nate and Mel, Nate and Mel will be going, uh, live on BBS Live this coming Thursday night. I believe they do it at... 8 Central, which is 9 Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. So check them out. They do a good show. They have a lot of fun. They're a good, genuinely good folks. We have a lot of fun together. So check them out. But they were the ones who really loved this razor and really got behind it early on. And they're the ones who convinced me to get one because Nate actually sent Want, sent me his to try and I was like man that's a good raise <laughs> you know honestly I balked at the price I was like 250 that's that's nuts I mean that is a lot of money by any standard but um, man it's a good razor <laughs> and if you think of it in terms of lifetime investment you know it's not too bad but still it's pricey you know there's there's just no way around when things are pricey they're pricey and today's soap is sort of in that pricey realm but man does it have a great scent and I hope you could see that sheen um, because it is great quality. It reminds me, this compares very favorably, this formula to Kaizen from uh, A&E. So if you're a fan of A&E Kaizen, the quality, which is absolute top rate, you're going to probably enjoy the quality of first line shape. I think they compare very favorably. And they behave similarly. And... Uh, both have, you know, great sense. Now, A&E does come to you cheaper, or, you know, so, you know, keep that in mind. But, um, first line, they make some good quality stuff. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that first, first line does donate part of their uh, proceeds to charity, or at least they used to. So, you know, check that out on their website. And that might, you know, make the price more attractive to you. But this is not a, you know, at least this particular one at 575 an ounce is not what you would call budget friendly in a soap realm. Which is why I didn't get it right away. Two reasons. One, at this price, I need to try it first. So I got a sample and I liked it. And then I went back and followed up and uh, bought it, you know, when time permitted. And I bought the splash too. Because uh, to me, this is a very unusual scent that that I like. I don't have anything like this that I can think of. Um, it's quite unusual. And it's a very good quality, like I said below. Every time I use this, kind of reminds me of that Kaizen. Um, the way it lathers, the quality of it. And that's high praise, you know. Because Kaizen is, you know, many people feel the best quality soap on the market in terms of terms of formula so if your soap is, is similar to kaizen in performance that's pretty doggone good i would say yeah really really nice and the carbon here is just absolute magic um i'm really glad i bought this razor and i'm thankful to nate and mel for really standing behind it and advocating and i'm thankful to uh nate for having sent me this to try because had I not tried it, I may have never pulled the trigger on it. Who knows? I mean, I'm sure I might have at some point, but 
I certainly got this earlier because I was able to try it and I was like, you know, that handle, honestly, I wasn't attracted to it because I thought it was too long, but man, it feels great in my hand. And I don't typically like longer handles, which that one is, but it just feels so great that, uh, so it sort of turned me around on, on it. Um, I did not expect to like it at all. And then when you use it and you put it in your hand, it just feels right. It's like it was made for your hand, or at least made for mine. And so it is a really terrific razor. Um, again, pricey, but you know, sometimes you pay a little more and you treat yourself. And I think you could certainly do worse in treating yourself, <laughs> you know, to buy. There are many uh, razors that are far more expensive than the uh, carbon that don't shave as well, in my opinion. Carbon's a terrific razor. I have no buyer's remorse, as I said below. Oh, I forgot to mention the brush today. The brush today is the Phantom Aerolite from PAA, which I I just brought it out because the, the Dapper Man, you know, the blue and the Dapper Man, it's not an exact match, but you know, I would sort of match it up today to please David Gonzalez. <laughs> he likes to match things up. I, I don't really, care one way or the other about it because I don't really have the time to do shave of the days and stuff like that. I'm actually, you know, doing these shaves and doing all the research into the products and collecting all the information. Quite a bit of time goes into that. Um, you know, grabbing the ingredients, grabbing the price, getting all that information ready for each video. So it takes a while. So I don't really have time to do shave of the day videos. So I just Put together a little thumbnail with the tub of soap and the razor and uh time i'm answering everybody's comments and making the actual video you know i've uh i don't really have time to lay out things for a shave of the day so things matching aren't critical to me i enjoy uh, looking at other people's shave of the day photos and so on but for me i just have to pick and choose um where I can spend my time. And a lot of it will go into, you know, making the notes because I have a note card right below the camera here every day that has the, the ingredients, the notes, the price per ounce. And oh, also speaking of which, I want to thank, and I hope you're still watching gentlemen, I want to thank two gentlemen, latest Patreon subscriber, first of all, uh, Dolphinately Bro. Thank you, Dolphinately Bro for becoming a Patreon supporter. That helps a lot and I appreciate you very much. And also Mac Booker, he increased his level of support. So thank you very much, Mac, as well. And Mac's had a lot of kind words to say, as well as definitely bro. So thank you two gentlemen for supporting the channel. It really means a lot. It does require quite an effort to put together <laughs> the, all these products that you use, and I'm grateful for the support, so thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you very much. All right, boy, I tell you what, this shave has been really enjoyable. Great quality soap, great quality razor, epic blade. They just don't make them like this anymore. And again, this is a Persona 74 in its 12th use. Still feeling very smooth, not feeling tuggy whatsoever. And so who knows how many shaves I'll get out of it. I assume it'll be probably near 20 or maybe over. I mean, we're just going to keep using it until it feels like it's not comfortable. And right now, it's still incredibly comfortable. And we'll stop using it when it's not. But modern blades are not made this way. Or at least, you know, the ones that we buy commonly. You... You might be able to get a lot of uses out of it, but I'm three and out. And even years ago, I used to take it to four, but usually by then you can start to really feel the effects of the blade, you know, not being quite as sharp. And so these blades, well, now this blade is not inexpensive because these are now crazy expensive, but they used to not be very expensive. Um, but now they're, Hard to find and they are very expensive i think i saw a couple of them the other day there was like seven or eight and they were like fifty dollars so 
I did not pay that for, for the ones I got, but they are very expensive now. But modern blades are inexpensive, so there's no need to push them beyond a handful of shaves. DE blades, at least. Absolutely no reason to push them beyond a handful of shaves. Um, I would say on most modern blades, five would be the max for most people. Average, between three and five. But this blade is special. This is not your average blade. And that's also why now that they're not as available as they used to be, the price is through the roof. Just to be able to find, you could find a five pack for like 10 bucks, which is still pricey, but now they've gone just insane. Man, oh man, what a nice shave today. Really enjoyable with the Dapper Man. Terrific artwork, terrific scent, strongly scented, excellent soap and the carbon, you just can't beat it. All right. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. We followed that with the PAA alum. No stinging, so our Persona 74 blade still smooth and crisp. After that, we did a cold water rinse, toweled off with our Lancaster towel, and then applied the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel. I had an excellent shave today with First line shave, Dapper Man. It, it is a little pricey, but man, what a gorgeous tub. I mean, I think it's awesome to look at and a great scent. And so I'm very happy with the soap today. Great performing soap. Again, I think the formula compares favorably to Kaizen. The razor for today is absolutely tremendous. Carbon CX316L. Pricey, but again, uh, if you consider it as a lifetime investment, really, really incredible razor. I love using it with the Persona. 74 blade, that's really awesome. Our brush today was the PAA Amber Aerolite brush, which I enjoyed very much. Of course, our Captain's Choice bowl. And we're gonna finish it off today with Dapper Man, the um, aftershave. And I tell you, Chicano Designs, I think is might be the premier artwork maker um, in traditional shaving. Uh, Chicano Designs just makes really nice looking artwork. And our good friend Raza does as well. So. Shout out to Raza. He's making some great looking labels also. All right. Man, that smells great. And I love these. The color of the bottles that uh, First Line uses is just awesome, I think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I've had an excellent shave. I hope wherever you are, you have an excellent shave as well today. Thanks so much. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.